Hi there, YouTube. Welcome back. I'm here at Etta's Attic. And I'm going to do a little quick tour to show you some of what they have to offer here. This is kind of a booth antique mall here downtown Ferndale. They have all these different kinds of booths where you can uh, find everything you want. All kinds of beautiful antiques. You can see that. The egg's really gorgeous. A green M&M, the big one here. There was some controversy about the green M&M recently. This one is $300. So true antique there. Probably won't find one like that everywhere, anywhere else. Some nice die-cast motorcycles it looks like. Looks like we got a little Corel or a Pyrex over there. These little guys, a little dragon there for you. Hope you enjoy some of what you're watching today. I'm trying to get to 4,000 hours of watch time, 4,000 hours and 1,000 subscribers. So I thought I'd give you something fresh to look at. I did a little um, tour of Penny Lane. This is kind of similar. They all have different booths with different wares in here. This one has a lot of ceramics, some glassware. Beautiful con collection of Fenton. Look at that. All different color Fenton. They got the pinks and the reds. Florals, some blues down there. This one is very ornate. Look at that. Gorgeous collection. Prices are pretty reasonable and they do have a discount. Got the jars up here. So the owner here told me this was named after her grandmother, I believe. So it's a family owned and operated, it looks like. This little toy antique guy. So they're here on hand, uh, open till 5.30 weekdays, it looks like. And they can open these cases. Some of them are locked, but they can get in there if you have any questions about everything. There's just so much to look at, it's a little overwhelming. You don't know where your eye wants to go, but it might be a good little spot to come in and spend some time and see if you can find some treasures. Beautiful glassware sets up there. Looks like they do have some clothing here, and oh, $5, pretty reasonably priced. Let's see what they got. Some women's items, it looks like. A little bit vintage 90 denim shirt. Denim shirt from Kendall Elementary. So that's a it's out in Baker, I think. So lid is not attached. It's an old one. Look at that. Look at the detail in that. Some old tins up here. What I like about these places is trying to figure out which booth is your favorite, you know. I know Penny Lane, I have my favorites. Well, look at the little Sprouts guy. Isn't he cute? 15 bucks on him. That's a decent price for Sprouts. I don't know if he has them. 1996, so he's not that old, but, uh, but he's cute for sure. 96. Some more of that blue gla blue graph glass over here. With this cute little biscotti jar. That'd be perfect for a little biscotti. The A and W mug is calling to me back there. Oh here we go. Here's the die cast. Everybody's looking for die cast. They got a limousine in there, two of them. $39 priced on that one there, it's decent. Oh, old die cast. A little Pepsi if you collect Pepsi. Ooh, a little oversized, uh, is that a red Corvette in there? The oversized die cast. And down at the bottom of this case they have a little Betty Boop collection. All oh, Betty Boop dolls and toys. 
Look at this little painting. Beautiful. This little clock over here is missing the glass, but it looks to be pretty beautiful. Kind of red. I know some people like to tinker with those old clocks. Get them working. This is an interesting Asian painting. Looks to be, I mean, I'm not gonna guess, but it may be Japanese. Let's say geishas, yeah, Japanese. Like that. Look at this, is this old? No, is that Bellingham? Southwater Market. I guess I can read the tag and see what it says, right? Yeah. Street market photo. Chicago. So that's Chicago, an old Chicago painting. Or a print, rather. $35, that's a good price. Of those old photographs. Old prints. Little cougar up there. It's like a, a real painting up there. So they got a mix of everything, prints and actual paintings. Definitely a lot to look at. Got books and VHS in the back here. With these old locker. 225, that would be a good little spot for storage to put in place, redecorate maybe. Look at these guys, Maggie. Maggie had porcelain dolls, 20 bucks. Get you a better look. Oh, that purse is calling to me. Look at that clutch. Looks like somebody made that out of wrappers or something. Look at this guy. He's just chilling in the back here waiting for someone to come pick him up. So much glassware. Definitely some beautiful pieces. There's a little nice Marvel Universe mug. Ooh, look at this flashback. Atari, 40 bucks. So these booths definitely have a lot of different stuff to offer. We're about halfway through the tour, I want to thank everybody for watching. Helping me get to that 4,000 hour mark of watch time. Ooh, this one, uh, case has got some old knives in it. I know a lot of guys collect old knives, so. This booth is in the back. I got some vintage razors. And all different kind of knives. Some uh, cast iron at the bottom here. This is kind of more of a tools and knives, fishing gear, old oil cans. Look at these. You don't see them like that anymore. Beautiful. Kings and the Queens in the back watching over the shop. Got a little case of vinyl back here for you folks that are into vinyl. A couple of titles there. Let's take a look through. Hit Boots, Maramba. You see something here? Slim Whitman, Cleopatra. Organs, Ken Griffin. You never know, you know, a lot of these uh, rare titles can be worth some money if you know what you're looking at, which I don't do. I did buy a storage unit full of vinyl, but I sold it off to a shop in Seattle. And if anybody does venture into the vinyl world, you gotta know that those things weigh a ton, so if you're moving those things, wear a back brace. That's advice number one, dealing with vinyl. Stuff is heavy when you buy it in bulk. I learned that the hard way. So this is another back booth. Oh, look at this little guy. It's a cute little portrait session with him. Gives me some photo ideas. Different poses you could try in a portrait shoot. 
Got a nice tennis racket. Nine dollars on that racket. So if you're looking for one this spring to do some tennis, it's a good price on it. So we're gonna make our way out here. There's a few more booths left, but we want to thank the shop for letting us uh, film in here. Came in with the camera and surprised her a little. She's uh, just about closing up, so we're gonna make a quick, uh, quick exit here and get on our way. But hopefully, you enjoy some of what you're looking at. If you have any questions, I'm sure you could call them to get more information on uh, how to find the place. Look at these antique postcards. It's a nice market to look up online. Easy to ship. Pick up inventory at any uh, antique shop like that. Antique postcards are always a, a fun niche to get into. I do have a little plush. Not as much plush in the, here as I noticed in Penny Lane. So this one is more specializing in... Uh, I see a lot of glassware and trinkets and whatnot. A significant amount of art in the back as well if you're into art. But yeah, they got everything. The more you look, the more you see. It's a nice little... Got some old children's books here, the Mickey. whole stack of them, vintage children's books. Some of those, uh, if they're true vintage from uh, from the 60s and 70s, can be worth some decent money. Look at this piece. Nice wood um, mirror with detail. Got some candles on there and some trophies. A little Victorian painting down here. Hey, there I am. Look at this old Kodak with the flash bulbs in it. These little horses here, if you want to add to your little stable you know, collection. They're $7 each. They're the smaller sized ones, but Ooh, look at these vintage dolls. Look at them. Bugs. I don't know who the rest are here, but somebody knows, let me know in the comments. I know that you guys often have more knowledge on it than I do. So we're approaching our last booth here. I'm going to walk through and this one is a lot of clothing. It's a nice rack of women's clothing. A few men's items up front here. Some nice old flannels. A nice uh, bowling jacket. This one does offer some uh, some clothing for you to browse through. And add some accessories, some nice brooches to the outfit. Get this a whole box of match uh, matchbooks. It'd be fun to go through and see where they all came from. Somebody's collection. Oh, we got the Elvis collection here. Oh, the Elvis VHSs. Everything you need from Elvis. Got a little section of eight tracks down here. Everything old is new again. You know, the eight tracks are back online and people are buying them. Somebody's collecting them. Looks like we got one more booth here. It looks like to be a jewelry centered uh, booth. Pennants and necklaces. Some old antique jars. Definitely a fun little browse through. I'm sure you can find something for your house if you need to decorate. Want to get something different than you find in the box shops. Got some nice rings. Bracelets up top here. Beautiful beaded purse there, 130. Someone put a lot of work into that. 92 for the black one next to it. And then we got some more down there. Can't see the prices on those, but I'm sure they're similar. Look at this little stove. I don't know if that's a, probably a replica of um, a salesman went around. And a lot of times the smaller stoves, they 
have those with them. Okay, we're, we're getting ready to close up here. Again, the name of the shop is? Edda's Attic. Attic. We want to thank you for letting us get a walk through here as you, sure. as you close things down. So come out and check out Edda's, Edda's Attic. Oh, here's a sign right here. In Ferndale, downtown Ferndale. So Edda's Attic. You open till 5.30 most weekdays? Yeah, it's Monday through Saturday. Monday so through Sunday's Saturday. Sunday's 12 to 5. And Sunday, 12 to 5. So, so. it's seven days a week. Seven days a week you can come out here and see everything she's got to offer here. Named after your grandmother, correct? It is. All right. Okay. You well, want a picture? You got a picture of her? I do. Sure. Do you mind being on camera? I haven't put you on yet, but maybe as you show her, I can show a picture of her. Oh, there she is. So you named the shop after Etta. This is Etta. Let's get a close-up of her. That's sweet. That's pictures nice. from 1919. An old one, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for sharing that with yeah, us. Thank you. Maybe I'll stop by again sometime. Yeah. Have a good one. Send people in. Oh, will do. Okay. Bye bye.